DJ Wayne, DJ Wayne Adventures. We are currently in the car wash getting the pickup truck washed because we are heading back out on another NASCAR adventure. Today, I got my tag team partner over here. Are you ready? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. But we're bringing the pickup truck today because the first place we are heading is back to David Gilliland Racing and see if that pickup truck front is still there that they told me I could have because if it is, we're putting it in the back of the pickup truck. But then our goal is today, I think we're going to, we might try to go back and find Dave who uh, had that Alan Kawicki uh, Hooters car. And then we're gonna hit a couple of race shops today. The museums, what do you think? And of course, what does she do? She has Forky with us. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. It's a beautiful day out. Let's go see what kind of adventures we can find. So as we get ready for this NASCAR adventure day today, now's a good time to say, if you would like to help us out, please visit our Patreon page, DJ Wayne Adventures. We even accept Venmo, at DJ Wayne Crib. And then in parentheses 6152. If you know Venmo, then you know exactly what that's all about. But you see this right there? Gas prices aren't getting any better. And we really need all the help we can get. But we decided right here behind this speedway is the Days of Thunder Barn. We visited it once before. We're going to go over there. We're going to take a quick tour around it. We're going to get started there because we have had some fans asking about it. And uh, we're going to go and see what we can. Uh, see what we can get today but we do appreciate you guys subscribing we appreciate you watching but we really would appreciate anybody who wants to make a donation we're poor but we're proud patreon dj wayne adventures venmo at dj wayne crib in parentheses 6152 here we go and here we go as promised here is the beginning of the NASCAR movie Days of Thunder. This is the barn located in Mooresville, North Carolina. I can't quite get the overhead shot that they did, but we're gonna get in and get closer. Great movie, Days of Thunder. Zooms in there, working on the race cars in the movie, but you can see it's definitely changed over the years. But it is very interesting that Google Maps even shows this old barn and it says Days of Thunder Barn. I took a picture of the Google's map. I'll post it on here for you. So if you are ever here in Ray City, USA, and you want to come by and look at the old Days of Thunder Barn, well, I'll show you where it's at so you can get to it. It's a beautiful, hot, hot, hot day. It's only 90 today. Few clouds here and there. But let's take a walk around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. As I mentioned today, we're going to go hit a couple of museums, actual stock car museums, NASCAR museums, not race shops today. Even though we are going to be back over by Hendrick Motorsports, today is Wednesday, so we may go by and see if pit crew is practicing today, which typically they are. So if they are, we'll grab it on film for you private property sign. Don't worry, I'm not going to go inside. Got a nice view of the back end there. But definitely got some gang signs painted on the inside, so somebody has trespassed. There's somewhat of a walking path here, so I think we'll venture up to see 
hopefully it goes all the way around that way I can give you a full 360 view of the barn absolutely Friday we are going to be visiting Dale Earnhardt Jr. JR Motorsports. We are going to take a race shop tour, so stand by for that. Should be good. We're gonna attempt to go to Charlotte Motor Speedway. See about doing a tour there as well. That'll be coming up on Friday. And as I mentioned the other day in one of my earlier videos, we will be at Atlanta Motor Speedway on Sunday, July 10th. We've got pit passes, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Florida, Florida is the pre-race concert in Atlanta. But that's in July. Let's worry about today, starting this adventure off. Days of Thunder, barn right here, Mooresville, North Carolina, DJ Wayne, DJ Wayne Adventures. Let's keep going. So as we are on our approach to David Gilliland Racing, I come up here on Circle Track Warehouse Racing Parts because check this out, they have got not only just race parts, they've got an actual car frame right here. JP Morgan, number 23. That's pretty awesome. J and R racing. And that's not just a frame. That's a full car. There's actually one back there that's even wrapped up. But it's not Hooters broke up, because they, they don't do Hooters broke up anymore. X1R Pro Cup Series. JP Morgan, that is pretty cool. Number 23. Roush Yates Performance Products, Racing Electronics. I've never seen X1R Pro Cup. I used to go to the Hooters Pro Cup a lot throughout the Carolinas here. Let me see if I can get up there and get you guys a view on the inside. Not much to see for sure. JP Morgan. Well, I brought the pickup truck, but I don't think that's going to fit quite on there. What you think? So let's keep pushing on to David Gilliland racing and see if we can find the front end of that truck. All right, we have officially made it back to DGR, David Gilliland racing. It is a busy day here at this race shop. The car parking lot is absolutely full. They're packing up for this weekend's races. They got all the race suits out there. Tanner Grace truck is gone. Maybe it's already packed up. But we're going to go take a look and see if the hood of that one truck is still back here for me that they told me I could have. And ladies and gentlemen, no, it is still there. It is waiting for me. So we are going to pack it up and put it on the truck. All right, boys and girls, while I get back out here, it is still here. I go to start putting it in my truck and some people that I did not meet the other day kind of pitched a little bit of a fit so I went inside talked to the big boss man David Gilliland himself he was getting his hair cut before the race weekend and uh, said he's gonna come out here in just a few moments and meet me out here so we're gonna hang out for just a moment and uh, see if we can get Mr. Dave Gilliland himself out here And while we are waiting on Mr. Gilliland, here comes Haley Deegan's NASCAR Camping World Truck Series truck out of the garage. Pretty awesome, they just roll it right out. Now 
years ago, I had some friends that were attending the race here in Charlotte, and they were walking over these walkways over the highway here, and if you guys may remember, one of them collapsed. They were probably, from what they've told me, they were about 50 feet off the bridge when it collapsed. So we have just passed the Charlotte Motor Speedway, not even a half a mile, and right over here is our museum. I brought you up here once before because this Morrison Motor Car Museum has out front an official number 62 me Talladega Nights Ricky Bobby car. It's in bad shape, but hey, that's Ricky Bobby. Well, I'll be just as our luck would have it. What does it say? Closed on Wednesday. Well, don't that just suck? Let's take a look inside. We've been in here before. This is a nice museum. We will definitely come back, bring you guys along for the ride. But we'll take a look at the cars that are on the outside. We'll get an up close and personal view of the Ricky Bobby number 43 me car. So this is more than just NASCAR. It's a lot of motor car everything even more than motor car because inside there's actually a big old alabama grill guitar i told you about that before um, motor car hall of fame museum 18,000 square feet of classic cars and memorabilia or as they would say memo rabilia large nascar and auto related gift shop 426 hemi 427 moonshine steel alabama display but let's take a look and see what's on the outside. Here's this little Legends car that I love so much. It says the Stock Car Cafe on it. 600 racing designs. And this one you can actually get in and get your photo taken. But there's no steering wheel. Seat's a little dirty. I think I'll pass. Thanks for that. But if you're a big NASCAR fan, you got your kids with you, it wouldn't be a bad thing to check out. That's a 1940 Ford sedan display. Let's go see what this old jalopy down here might be. Now check this guy out. Number 34. That has definitely seen some better days. Let's take a look inside. Check out that seat. At least this one's still got a steering wheel in it. Wendell Scott. Now there's an original NASCAR classic for you right there. Wendell Scott. We'll zoom in on this side. I'm not going to go into the, the weeds there, get bit by a snake or anything. Number 34, Wendell Scott. Now over here on the corner, we got an old police car. Looks like he's ready to run down some moonshiners. What you think? North Carolina State Highway Patrol. Seen a few of these cars in the Andy Griffith show. Still the best show on TV, if you ask me, the Andy Griffith Show. State owned, welcome to North Carolina. Yeah, but if you see that, it's too late. You're already in trouble. North Carolina State Highway Patrol car right here. Let's see if we can open the door. Hey, look at there. It actually opens up. Let's 
I wonder if I can hit the siren. I wonder if the siren would go off. Take a look and see where the bad guys go. Yeah, it's seen some wear and tear, but there we go. We can maneuver the spotlight, try to find those steel mills. So we came back over here and I tried to have my tag team partner get in there. And what did you say? It's a metal seat in the middle of summer. <laughs> she said, absolutely not. It's like a hundred degrees out here in the afternoon heat. I tried to get her to get in there and sit down. And well, she didn't want nothing to do with that. Can't say that I don't blame her though, because I wouldn't do it either. Let's go take a look at the Ricky Bobby car, shall we? And that's how you have fun on the start finish line right there. Who cares if they're closed? We're going to have fun on the outside, right? DJ Wayne doing what DJ Wayne does. We're at the back of the museum. And here we've got a couple of racing hoods. The Wing House Bar and Grill. Pinellas Park. It says Kerr's Wing House. Pinellas Park must be in Tampa, Florida. There's the Burnzo Matic TS 7000 hood above that one. Right here, we've got the Ford Family Channel Prime Star Wix Filters hood. I wonder if there's anything on the back side or the front side of this one, actually. Not a whole lot to see. It's all pretty much coming out, coming apart. But we do have a nice set of Goodyear Eagle racing tires. Too bad I don't have the pickup truck. We took it to the house, switched out, got the Mazda. Well, okay. Technically, I could get these four tires in the back of the Mazda. But I won't. So as we wrap up our tour today, we are back to the number 62 Me Ford of Ricky Bobby. Talladega Nights. Did I say that earlier? Did I say the 43 me car? I think I did. This car was actually used in the movie Talladega Nights. Let's take a look here. Definitely stripped out completely. But not bad memorabilia nonetheless. They just threw a 2020 sign in here for giggles but there's the number 62 ricky bobby me car that was wrecked at the end of the race of course and they got out ran to the finish line got disqualified you know how the story ends no spoilers here before we leave we're going to see what that flag says let's take a walk around the number 62 me car not the number 43 me car and there's one of my hashtags that you'll see on almost all of them i want to go fast almost all of my posts have hashtag i want to go fast this car has definitely seen some better days And it's just right here at the Morrison Motor Car Museum. And you can see right up there on the hill, that is the Charlotte Motor Speedway. That's how close this museum sits. So if you are ever in town, except for a Wednesday or a Sunday, stop by here. We will definitely make a trip back and take you on the inside of this museum. Because it is pretty cool. DJ Wayne. DJ Wayne Adventures. NASCAR Adventure today. I'm not going to say today was a total waste. That's for sure. So as I was finishing up just now, I turned around to look at the museum once more. And I don't think I've ever noticed there's two race cars on top of the building. Did you guys notice that? Did you know that? Why didn't you tell me? 
but no today was definitely not a total waste of time on our nascar adventure we got to go to david gilliland racing i actually got to meet david gilliland and ask about bringing that uh, truck front home with me oh we never did finish that story did we let's rewind a little bit so as we are rewinding back to david gilliland here's another view of the charlotte motor speedway on the left hand side there and on the right hand side is the charlotte dirt track before we finish up our david gilliland story let's take a look at these two tracks so there it says the dirt track at charlotte of course today nothing's going on but we'll like take a quick peek at it about a month ago we were at the tim mcgraw concert and the race was going on over here at the dirt track and you can definitely hear it from the parking of the amphitheater where tim mcgraw was performing the wind was blowing in the right direction and you could hear the dirt track racing loud and proud and now we have come to the Charlotte Motor Speedway. We are gonna walk up the steps, go inside and take a look around, bringing you with us. We are not planning on taking a tour. It is exactly 107 degrees outside right now. So we're gonna go inside and then suck up some air conditioner. How about that? So underneath the Charlotte Motor Speedway is two things, access to the Speedway Club, but right here beside it, is PRN, the Performance Racing Network radio station. So PRN is officially locked up. We could not get in there, but we are gonna go see if we can go to the Speedway Club and maybe have lunch. Let's take a look and see what we can find. So entering in the Speedway Club, it feels wonderful in here. This is a part of this racetrack I've never been to. Saying that, I've actually never been to a race here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I know that's the craziest thing, right? But we're going to go in and see what we can find. So the Speedway Club is actually closed, but we have been given permission by the head of security to go up. Floor number three. Let's see what's behind door number three. All right, so we got outside of the third floor. He told us we could come up here, take a look around. So we are inside Charlotte Motor Speedway, third floor, giving you a behind the scenes tour. Thirst for first. This little waiting room is decorated with lots of NASCAR photos. There's the man, Jeff Gordon. Yes, we were at his very last win, Martinsville. The race that took Martinsville in the dark because they had not installed the lights yet. But the next day, they started installing the lights. Hey, number 18, Interstate Batteries. Who is that driver? Is that, is that the rowdy one? Could be, considering he's my favorite. All right, so it is nicely warm. Let's go see what's through these double doors. Charlotte Motor Speedway, my tag team partner, Emma's gonna lead the way. Here we go. So we are on the third floor inside the racetrack. So we're gonna go take a look at the actual track. Let's go. So ladies and gentlemen, check it out. Third floor took us right inside the track here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And it looks like they've got road course racing practice or racing experience going on. Me personally, I haven't never really gotten into the whole road course experience yet but right now i gotta tell you i'm thrilled to be here inside the charlotte motor speedway 
They are currently not doing tours at this point of the day, but they gave us permission to come inside, take a look around the actual track. And we have been talking Days of Thunder today. This is where Days of Thunder was filmed. Even the Talladega race was filmed here in Charlotte. All they did was just kind of change stuff around and tell you that it's Talladega or it's Darlington or wherever to make you believe it. But Talladega Nights was filmed right here, Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is pretty awesome. Thank you for letting us come in and take a look at this beautiful track. Now I briefly mentioned it once before in one of the earlier videos where I showed you these condominiums. When these condos first went for sale, nobody wanted to buy them. They thought it was the most ridiculous thing in the world to actually come out here and buy a two bedroom condominium at a speedway. Now, they are worth a lot of money. Let's watch him for a moment. drivers maybe out here just practicing for road courses considering we just got done with Sonoma but we are definitely thankful to be out here Charlotte Motor Speedway it is 107 degrees out right now the heat of the day here goes that yellow car over there racing let's see if we can zoom in on it One more great view inside Charlotte Motor Speedway. Not a whole lot going on. It's a hot, hot day. And right up there is the Speedway Club restaurant, since we're still on those Talladega nights. All right, we're going to start our ascend down. Amy pointed out there is a map. There we are right there. Good job. Third floor. Shows both the actual track and then the road course track. Thank you guys for watching. All right, well, we are back inside this nice cold elevator. DJ Wayne right there. Hello, what's going on? Thank you guys for watching. Let's see what's on the other side. There's what's on the other side. And there's the Speedway Club restaurant. So as we depart Charlotte Motor Speedway, the countdown timer is on 115 days, 22 hours, four minutes and 30 some seconds to go to the Bank of America Roval 400, October 9th and 10th. And look, who's that leading that one? Rowdy. Well, we got out the elevator and we said, you know what? We're not quite ready to go home just yet. So let's go into the front entrance and see what's on the inside. The main entrance here, Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's hot. Here's a quick view from the other side of the 
ticket entrance, main entrance to Charlotte Motor Speedway. The big sign there, Concord Mills Boulevard intersection right there. All right, let's venture inside. Well, coming inside, the gift shop is officially closed like almost everything else we've attempted today. There is somebody over there at the ticket window. This is the tour desk where you'll come in and sign up for the tours. Free Howie bread. Hungry Howie's, good pizza. First time I ever had flavored pizza dough. But it is very quiet in here today. Now I saw this on the TV and if you guys are learning about me, I am big on children's charities and I highly support Speedway Children's Charities. I've done charity events for Children's Miracle Network, McLeod Children's Hospital in Florence, South Carolina, and I've donated to Speedway Children's Charities. A lot of the race and memorabilia that I have collected over the years, I have turned around and donated right back to charity. Hey, there's the inside of the dirt track. And there's DJ Wayne, what's up? There's the drag strip, Z-Max. Have not been there yet before. I haven't even walked around that track yet. Maybe we need to do that one day soon. Hey, Ty Dillon. So as we're getting ready to walk out, my tag team partner says, hey, look, there's a circus coming to town and you can get free children's tickets to the Luma Circus Cabarrus Arena Tuesday and Wednesday, July 5th and 6th. I hope we are not in Cabarrus County on July 5th or 6th. I hope we are somewhere else enjoying a nice adventure, maybe in the mountains of Tennessee, or the mountains of North Carolina would be fine with me too. Either way, hopefully we're just not here July 4th weekend. So here is a nice board of upcoming events. Summer shootout, Charlotte Motor Speedway, going on now through August 2nd. Kids get in for free. The Legends cars. August 20th, the Circle K Monster Truck Bash. September 8th through the 10th, the Charlotte Auto Fair here at the Speedway. September 23rd, 25th, the Z-Max Dragway. Like I said, I've never been, I've never even seen a drag race live. October 8th, Drive for the Cure 250 here at the Speedway. And of course, October 9th, the Roval 400. And then November 2nd through the 5th over at the Dirt Track, the Outlaw World Finals. And then finally on the board, Speedway Christmas, Charlotte Motor Speedway, November 18th, January 15th. That's when they put up the lights and you can ride around. I don't know if this one actually lets you ride on the track or not, but that's usually pretty cool. There's your 2022 upcoming events, Charlotte and Motor Speedway. All right, we are back in the car. We have not left yet. You know me. We're gonna ride around the speedway and see what we can find because they are still up there racing. And I know there's a back way to get up in here to see them racing on the track. Let's go take a look. Here we go. And trust me when I tell you, the gate is open. There's those cars we just saw running the Roval out there. There's some of the white cars. There are some of the blue cars. Yeah, there's some red ones, some black ones. Let's go take a look. Let's go look at the track. And here we are again. Now we're on the back side. There's some of those cars out there running the Roval. Here comes one closer to us.
comes the orange car in just a moment somewhere. He was coming. Maybe we lost him. He stopped. Here he comes. As I was mentioning, way up there is the Speedway Club restaurant, 6th, 7th floor, 6th floor. And that's actually, uh, parts of Talladega Nights were actually filmed there as well. Uh, is it Molly Shannon? I believe it's Molly Shannon, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, she really enjoyed the vibrations of the race cars as they were racing by. She was very flirtatious with <laughs> some of the sponsors. But lunch ended at 2.30, dinner starts at 5.30. So we decided not to stick around, because we were, we were actually gonna go up there and I was gonna treat my tag team partner to lunch there at the Speedway Club today. I just wanna see one of these spin out. filming it's 107 degrees the least they can do is spin out for them one time but we'll wait for the orange car to come back around one last time and then I think I'm gonna get back into the air conditioner and I still got to finish telling you guys the David Gilliland story don't I GGR racing. Here he comes one more time. There he goes. One last time. Racing experience here, Charlotte Motor Speedway, the Roval, DJ Wayne, DJ Wayne Adventures. Maybe they'll let me take the Mazda 5 out on the track one day. Looking at these cars. This is what you can actually take out on the track during the racing experiences. But not only do they have these nice Fords here. So they do have some smaller cars that you can get out here and race with. So maybe my Mazda 5, even though it's not a Ford, maybe they'll, maybe they'll let me take mine out on the track one day. I know they do it for charity sometimes. Would you guys like to join me? taking the car around the track one day if you do let me know and we'll set it up we'll make it happen dj wayne dj wayne adventures hot summer sun concord north carolina i'm saying this is the end but i still got to finish that david gilliland dgr racing story don't i and with me it's never the end until well until it's the end. So we are on the outside gate, turn number two. Car is still running around. We're just gonna kinda take a ride around the outside of the speedway here and let you guys take a look. As long as I've been coming here to the Charlotte Motor Speedway, I have always found at least one of the well, I was outside showing you the outside of the track. It got so darn hot that my phone shut off because of the heat. So you know what? I came here, we're right here by the sign, the big sign there, the big scoreboard. I figured, well, I let my phone cool down a little bit, but I figured I'm gonna get out and show you guys just a little bit more
here's a good view of the Rumble. There's turns one and two. We are, of course, on the back stretch. And of course, right over there are the garages. So you guys have been waiting patiently. You really want to hear the rest of the David Gilliland DGR story about that truck part, the front end that I was promised. If you're ready, I'll tell you the story. Well, as we're leaving the Speedway, there goes our drivers that we saw. They're coming out of the tunnel. We were just over there talking with the security guard. So racing must be done. Let's go follow them and see what they're up to and where they're going. I mean, really, we're just here having fun, right? Oh, I know exactly where they're going. They're going back up there to where we just were. As part of the summer shootout here with the Legends cars, they were telling me. So here's the Hickory Ridge. I just want to go fast. Turn left. But can't. So my tag team partner was asking if there were still seats in the bus and it looks like there are not any seats left in there side benches that's right here is the blur so here is the blur got a handprint in there check that out i would love to get in one of those bad boys and race those around a racetrack. Now that would definitely be fun. Over here we've got the Grinch, go figure. Number 22, the green machine. Actually it says the Titans on it. But he told us that racing is out here on Tuesdays as part of the summer shootout. Definitely need to come check it out because they, they race Legends cars and I've never seen the legends cars race vince neal has raced legends cars radio djs john boy and billy has raced djs back in the day and here is the number two move knights bus jnf stem my phone keeps shutting down because of the heat so i certainly do apologize if it shut down on you there but this is the number two knights bus jnf stems and this one here, well, this is just a hodgepodge of everything. Everybody just kind of signs their name to this pink princess beauty. <laughs> Wonder if it still runs and how good it runs. This is Dr. Munro. The number 50 Catholic schools. Go in see catholicschools.org. So when you're done here, go check that out. See what that's all about. Can't catch Leo, we are number one. Why am I thinking we just figured out Blue's Clues? This is the wine cuff, West. We believe students achieve, hashtag STEM. So definitely seen a lot of the hashtag STEM, so we're gonna need to check that out. Wine cough, 60. Pretty cool. This one here don't even have the back end. This is minus one. Burn dust, eat rubber. Let's take a look. How cool. So this is how you retire a school bus. This is the minus one Hickory Ridge. There's my hashtag. I wanna go fast. But he says, but can't. Do not enter. Okay, we'll listen. DJ Wayne, DJ Wayne Adventures. It's hot, but man, we're just having a great time out here touring around Charlotte, Concord, Mooresville. Turn left. One last one. Let's take a look at the Teletubby Mobile. 
Well, this one's got a little bit more design to it. They got benches in here. I don't know that I would want to ride on the inside during a race. Definitely do not think that would be a very comfortable ride. I'd like to drive one. Ram will run 30 minutes after race ends. Whatever that means. But there we go. Here's a quick tour around the Charlotte Motor Speedway Tuesday night shootout school buses. All right, we are heading out. We are back here at Hendrick Motorsports. One more moment and uh, we're out of here, but let's do something fun for just a second, shall we? We're coming up. We're on the racetrack. We are entering the pits right now. Let's get pitted, let's get pitted. One, two, three. How many seconds can we get out? And we are out, we made it. Let's get back to the race. DJ Wayne, DJ Wayne Adventures, thanks for watching. All right, so we have made it home safe and sound. Starting to cool down a little bit, it's 5.30. We've been out since about 12, 12.30 today. And time to finish up our NASCAR adventure for today. And as I promised, I would tell you the conclusion to our David Gilliland DGR race shop experience today. As I mentioned, this piece right here I got last week. I went up there, I asked permission. I didn't just go and take it. I wouldn't do that. Um, but when he told me I could have this piece, he told me I could have the front end of uh, a race use truck that they had just used in the last race. And uh, I had the Mazda, so I couldn't put that big old front end of a truck in the Mazda. So I said, I'd have to come back. And well, I got back there today, it's been a few days and uh, I pulled up. Luckily, it was still there waiting for me. I went to move it, went to get it out, as you saw in the video, and some of the uh, garage guys come out, started questioning who I was, and I told them the story, and they said, well, you need to go in there and talk to David and get an approval. I said, well, I already got approval last week, but I respected their wishes, went back into the race shop. David was getting his hair cut, and he said, I'll be out there in a little bit. I got out there, waited for him for a little bit for him to finish up his haircut, walked around the race shop a little bit. He came out, we walked around, we talked a little bit, and he gave it to me. He said, absolutely, go ahead, take it, put it in your truck, because we had the pickup truck today to take with us. He said, you can have it. He said, but you can have it on one condition. I said, what's that? He said, you take a Haley Deegan trunk front, front as well. Okay, I had the pickup truck. So here we go, front end of a Haley Deegan NASCAR truck and that one. And that one so there you go we made it not only did we come home with that one we came home with this one as well pretty darn cool it was very interesting getting them put into the pickup truck because they are a lot bigger than you think they are this one here five star nascar camping world truck series 411 lower front there was another sticker on it somewhere. There it is. Ford Performance. It's even got a label number. The frame. Coming over here to this one. And this one's race used. So it's got a little bit more wear and tear on it. And some damage for that matter. But how about that? Now, I did see one comment. Somebody showed up at... DGR, expecting, wanting sheet metal, and I guess they turned them away. So, if you show up at any race shop, be smart about it. Go up, ask permission, just don't assume anything. You guys think that I have a little bit of fun 
if there's no do not enter or no trespassing signs, but I will not ever take anything off of a property without asking first. And uh, I highly suggest you guys do the same thing. But see what happens when you're, you're nice to people. In return, they're nice right back. So that's great right there. David said he's going to autograph it for me when I get it back up there to him. My wife, she won't be too thrilled that I have this one, but she kind of knew this one was coming. We'll see about this one. Anybody want this one? Haley Deegan, NASCAR, Camping World Truck Series, truck front end. You want it? Let me know. I ought to offer that one to the to the guy who went up to the race shop and they told him no, they couldn't have any. But there we go. And you'll see my tiki hut back there in the woods. That's where it's gonna go. That's where my golden corral sheet metal is too. So eventually we're gonna have to put all this in there. So David Gilliland, DGR Racing, thank you guys so very much. My cats are out here checking it all out. They've got to inspect everything, make sure it's all kosher. They'll be out here sleeping in them later on tonight, I bet. That's usually how they roll. DJ Wayne, DJ Wayne Adventures, DGR Racing, David Gilliland, Haley Deegan, thank you all so very much. Thank you guys and girls for watching. Please subscribe, hit that bell, ring that bell, so you can get notified of our next adventure. Today is Wednesday, our next adventure, Friday, JR Motorsports in the morning, and Kid Rock with Grand Funk Railroad Friday night. DJ Wayne, DJ Wayne Adventures, thanks for watching. See ya!